Hi there, this is question 14 from the June 2012 Unit 3 at Excel Maths paper and it's an inequalities question. So it's split into two parts. First of all, sort of numerical inequalities and then graphing inequalities. So it tells you x is an integer. Uh, just to remind you, an integer is a whole number. Minus 3 is an integer, 4 is an integer, but 2.6 isn't an integer. And after giving us that information, it tells us that x can be anything greater than negative 2 and less than or equal to 3. So it does include 3. Y is an integer such that it's, well, it could be negative 1 or anything greater than that, up to, but not including 5. Uh, and they both have to be the same. Write down the possible values of x. Well, let's start with x could be, well, it can't be negative 2. So the lowest it could be is negative 1, and then we'll go through the integers up to and including 3 because it's this less than or equal than equal to sign. Y, well, Y can be negative 1 as well because it's greater than or equal to negative 1, and then um, goes up to 4, but it doesn't include 5 because it says Y has to be less than 5. So that means that if X and Y have got to be equal, then the ones we can use are uh, these ones here that they have in common and therefore our final answer will be written like this minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3. Okay, if we move on to the graphing question on the grid below show by shading the region defined by these inequalities. First thing to do is to draw the equations of those lines. So, so we've got y is greater than 1. So using the dotted line, um, the line y equals 1 would be a horizontal line that goes through every point where the y coordinate is 1. I've made it dotted because it doesn't include those values. For y is less than 2x minus 2, well the y-intercept is minus 2 and because it's got a gradient of 2 that means it goes across 1 up 2, across 1 up 2 and will continue to go on that gradient in both directions. So I can extend that slightly more in both directions and there we've got our line representing y is less than or equal to 2x minus 2. Moving on to the next one, it's got a y is less than 6 minus x. So that means it's got a, sorry, excuse me as I just changed the line to the blue one again. Uh, it goes through 6 on the y-axis and then because it's minus x it goes one across, one down, one across, one down, one across, one down and so on. It's got a negative gradient. So there's the line that represents y is less than 6 minus x. And then finally we've got x is greater than 0. Well, where is x 0? x is 0 everywhere along the y-axis. So the first thing we'll need to do is put in the line where x equals 0, and that would be this one. So those are our lines, it seems fair to label them. So we've got this one here, the vertical one, was x greater than 0. Uh, this one here was y is less than 6 minus x. This one here was our 2x minus 2 one. And then we've got a horizontal line where y is greater than 1. Now it says by shading the region defined by the inequalities. So which region satisfies all of those? Now for the y is greater than 1, that's anything in this direction. And for the x is greater than 0, that's anything in this direction from our line. 
so so far it would be anything in this sort of region here but we've also got two more inequalities to include as well so let's have a look at how that works um, we've got these two um, diagonal lines the best way I've always found to decide which side of the line applies uh, satisfies the inequality is to pick a point on one side and plug the numbers into the equation and see if it turns out to be true or not so the easiest point I can find to put in is this one here which is the point zero zero so if I plug zero zero into um, my first equation here so y is zero and x is zero so zero is less than six so the question is is that true or not and it is true so that implies that this is the side that satisfies it so for this line for this line here it's everything in this direction so we started to narrow it down we've got this right angle triangle now between the points 1 1 5 1 and 0 6 which is in our region we've just got one bit left to do we're going to put the same point into the inequality so we've got 0 is less than 2 times 0 minus 2 so that's putting the point 0 0 in and we end up with that 0 is less than minus 2 well that's obviously not true so that means that this side is the wrong side of this equation so we're looking for everything this way and what that boils down to is that the bits that satisfy all of those inequalities that are on the correct side of all of those lines is this bit here just want to check that the question indeed says mark this region with the letter r so it'd be silly to miss out on that final mark for doing what i asked you to do this is our region r a lot of information in there you obviously need to make sure that you know how to plot and sketch linear equations and you may have previously encountered that as equations of the form y equals mx plus c and you need to be able to sub points into equations or inequalities So those might be the areas that you might want to have a look at before you attempt another one of these questions and make sure that you're sorted for the next time you encounter one. Thank you very much for your time. I hope that was useful.